Hey there everyone. So this is the Hax-1 aircraft that I built, um, I mostly built. I've been doing this over a little bit in the fall and a little bit in the summer and I'm just uh, packing it up right now, taking it all apart. Uh, pretty much learned everything I could from it and uh, I'm going to make the next one out of structural tubing. Uh, a lot stronger, made out of steel. Uh, anyway, enough about that, we'll get to what I actually did in this one. So, uh, as you can see I got myself a nice, uh, nice wooden wing here, most of it's made out of 3 8 ply. Right there, 3 8 ply, uh, and then 2 by 4 some uh, hurricane ties, um, and then I got myself some uh, half inch uh, chrome uh, chrome plated bolts, um, coarse thread, uh, and those are actually the holding my wings, as you can see, they're actually two separate sides, there's one wing, there's the other wing, and they're both, you can't see it here, but underneath there they're connected, um, and, uh, and so they just basically butt up against each other. So right there is what holds it actually to the old aircraft, and then it basically puts the leverage against itself so you can have a good, nice uh, nice cantilever wing. Um, and then, you, of course, you got it on the other side there too. And then the back, we have it on the, uh, we have it from top, we have vertically, whereas these ones are horizontal. Um, anyway, so that's basically how the wing's all attached. Uh, and as you can see, thin little ribs, and then I'm uh, going to put on a, I was going to put on a foam, uh, foam edge here, but decided not to as I'm taking it apart now anyway. So this is the actual cockpit. Looks pretty unconventional, as you might imagine. This is actually where the pilot will lay prone um, on their stomach. So their stomach will go right here. Then they have their uh, the controls there for their actual for the actual steering. They do that with the right hand, and then with the left hand, they'll have their uh, auxiliary controls, landing gear, um, all that, all of that such stuff. So, uh, so as you can see, here's where the pilot lay. Then their legs get bent up right there, uh, and then there they are. That's where their uh, that's where the actual um, rudder controls would be. Uh, now underneath here is where the actual wheel hub would go and you know we put something to cover that so this actual wheel hub would go into there and the wheel would come down the front right there down the front so then you go back and you got yourselves a tail um, now <laughs> as you can see right there there uh, a little bit of issue with the with the tail and I'll go around and show you guys that a uh, <laughs> little bit of issue there uh, a lot of stress is created on this um, when I put the when I actually I notched this all out first for this piece and then I put it on top and I made it connect with this one and then I had to basically force all the other ones in. Uh, not the best design, definitely won't do that in the future. I'll build basically from the bottom up, make it a lot better. Um, but uh, I'm pretty happy with it overall. So these obviously, bit of an issue, a lot of tension there, not something I'd want to trust. Uh, good thing I was never going to fly this anyway. <laughs> um, so anyway, then we got myself my wings, pretty simple. I was gonna put a nice uh, end, uh, on the end right here, uh, just to give us to help stop the wingtip losses, wingtip vortexes. Um, and then right here is where I'd attach my actual the actual rudder to. Uh, and now you're thinking to yourself, where the heck does the engine go on this thing? Um, so the engine itself would be attached right here. There'd be a there'd actually be a little bit of a uh, attachment right here where it'd go up, and then the engine would sit right right about there. And the engine itself is uh, 2.7 meters long, so it would extend. Uh, pretty far back as you can tell that's the engine over there in the background uh, you can kind of see that so that's a it'd be powered by a 200 200 kilogram force I think it's like 2.1 kilonewton force uh, pulse jet engine I'm building that right there um, still gonna complete that that one I will use on uh, hopefully on the uh, actual flight model uh, so anyway it was gonna produce about 58 to 61 uh, Hertz um, vibrations which this thing definitely would not be able to take. But I only built this anyway as a, uh, just, you know, as a way where I could learn a lot about the general sizing of it and just general aircraft design. Uh, so designed this all by myself, uh, you know, just referencing different materials, learning it over time. Um, same thing with the engine. Uh, so anyway, so then this is our wings, of course, uh, on this side. And uh, then the rear landing gear would fit right around there and they just kind of flip out. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, I'm just going to disassemble it now and, uh, you know, done with it for this year. Going to go build myself another one, this time out of structural tube steel. Make it a lot stronger, a lot nicer, able to take some of that insanely high vibration. Uh, anyway, thanks.